for the interest of those young adventurers traveling with us for the first time, down there at the bottom of your view screen is the planet Earth, which first attracted our attention in the third millennium BC, 4,500 years ago, Earth time, when one of our orbiting geometricians happened to spot a number of huge triangular stone structures erected in the middle of a vast empty desert. They were, of course, the pyramids of ancient Egypt which at that time were really quite new. The pyramids are one of the earliest examples of geometric beauty. A square base with four sloping sides meeting at an apex. To explore other solid shapes of even greater classical symmetry, we must now leave our curved universe and venture through deep space to a world of geometric perfection. Pay attention now and keep your eyes fixed on the view screen. Soon we will be entering a fantastic galaxy of geometric shapes, the Platonic Solids, first discovered by Earth people over 2,000 years ago. Travelling in their boundless imaginations, ancient men of vision and genius, like Plato, Euclid and Archimedes, plotted our path to the Platonic Solids and shaped the now universal language of geometry, which is a mixture of Greek and Latin words. An example being poly, which means many, and gonos, the Greek word for angle. Joining them together gives us polygon, the universal term for a multi-sided geometric shape. <whistles> Aha! That timely intervention by our onboard computer is a reminder to get back on track, for in precisely seven seconds from now, we will be entering the delta region, delta simply means triangular, of the Polydron galaxy. A constellation of polyhedra set in an ever-changing configuration of Polydron, artfully constructed to form platonic solids. So-called because it was the great Athenian philosopher who first... <laughs> Hello, what's going on? Ah, oh, in the world of Polydron, we rarely see one of these little fellows travelling alone. He must be lost. Detached from a cluster that rarely numbers less than 60. <laughs> it would appear that our first encounter is with a user-friendly Polydron triangle of the equilateral kind. A species of triangle found only in this, the delta region of the geometric galaxy. This calls for a closer investigation, so let's send down a probe and calibrate some measurements. Data received tells us all sides are the same length, so the angles should be identical. Yes, in this case, 60 degrees. Identifying the subject as a member of the regular polygon family, who will be relieved to see that he is, in fact, not alone. For coming up dead ahead is the rest of his group, assembled in the spectacular Delta Formation, a celestial body of platonic solids. Now, bear with me for a moment, as a small adjustment is needed to bring us into close orbit to scan the three different platonic planets in this Delta system, the domain of the triangle. Ranging from the simplest, the tetrahedron, which has the fewest number of faces, to the octahedron and the more complex icosahedron. This trio of basic solids are termed as regular polyhedra because they each obey three basic rules. All the faces are regular polygons, all the faces are congruent, which means they are exactly alike, and all the vertices are identical. Let's make a close flyby of the simplest shape and dispatch a probe to take some measurements. Now, how many polydron triangles do you think it would take to construct this platonic solid? No, it's not three, and for the benefit of that lazy reptile catching flies with his mouth, let me offer a clue. Five is too many. Watch. You need a minimum of four equilateral triangles to enclose a region of space, and, of course, we must have some means of joining the individual pieces together.
<laughs> if you are fortunate enough to be a member of the Polydron Enclosed Space Cadets, the task is made easy. You will be equipped with plenty of the brightly coloured, ingenious plastic shapes that make up the Polydron system. Inventively designed so that all the edges are exactly the same and can be joined together by the unique hinge. Before we travel on, let's input some data on the tetrahedron, the simplest of all the regular polyhedral shapes. One important fact to log is that it is a regular solid, meaning that when viewed from the center of each face or vertex, it presents exactly the same appearance. As you can see, this regularity speaks for itself. The tetrahedron has four faces, six edges and four vertexes. All this adds up to one golden rule. Less than four faces cannot produce a geometric solid. So, implanting this into our memory banks, let's shift into hypercruise and scan for a new cluster of polydron triangles, where we can observe the formation of our second platonic solid, the octahedron. As you can see, the first step is the formation of a four-sided pyramid. To enclose space, a second pyramid is needed, and when joined together, the two form a solid which is known as the octahedron, for obvious reasons if you know how many tentacles an octopus has. If you don't, then all I can say is you must be from another planet. Anyway, for the benefit of any alien intruders, particularly that wretched creature staring vacantly into space, we'll have an instant replay. And count how many polydron triangles you need to clip together to make a regular octahedron. As you can see, all the eight faces and six vertexes are identical. Staying with the deltahedral planetary system, let's see what happens when a squadron of 20 polydron triangles group together to make a third platonic solid. It begins with five triangles meeting at a vertex, a kind of pentagonal pyramid. Then, a second flight of five arrives to form an identical twin. The rest of the squadron Ten in number circle to form a center section. And the three elements dock to create an icosahedron. Let's stream in more data on this, the largest of the deltahedral solids. The 20 faces are identical, as are the 12 vertexes. The dihedral angle indicator registers 138.19 degrees. To make contact with the fourth of our five platonic solids, we need to travel to a new region of the Polydron universe, the cornerstone of the geometrical world, the cubic sector, composed entirely of polydron squares. Brought together, they can form only one of the platonic solids. Ever the individualist, the square, very aware of its geometric elegance and sometimes a bit of a show-off, gives a solo performance to make the fourth of our platonic solids, the cube. The one and only platonic solid with square faces. Remembering the term congruent, relating to shapes that are identical in every way, well, here we have six congruent faces forming right angle corners to create the familiar solid instantly recognized as a cube. Unless you happen to hail from the planet Nerd where they would think it was a soccer ball. To discover our last platonic solid involves journeying beyond the delta and cubic regions into a deeper lesser known sector of the polydron universe wherein is harbored the mystical five-sided pentagon. Despite its apparent complexity, only 12 polydron pentagons are required to form a dodecahedron with a precision and elegance that is truly 
out of this world. Gathered first into four groups of three pentagons, then, without the need for any additional elements, the polydron pentagon's edges interlock together to form a perfect 12-faced dodecahedron, our fifth platonic solid. Let's take some protractor readings as we marvel at the harmony of this magical shape. Fellow adventurers, the moment has arrived to issue a grave warning. We have reached the point of no return. If we travel further into deep geometric space, there is a danger that your youthful brains could overheat and melt, as once happened a millennium ago on the planet Tetra, where a crew of droids is still cleaning up the mess. So, do we proceed deeper into the unknown or time shuttle into hyper-reverse and return to Earth? The choice is yours. I must confess, I'm a little hard of hearing, but I'm absolutely certain I heard all of you shout, Onwards! <laughs> so, let me program in... Oh. My consensus readout informs me that the majority of you wish to return to Earth. Well, so be it. But I must caution you all. It entails venturing through the mind-teasing realm of duality. In the universe of platonic solids, the concept of duality is a method of pairing polyhedra in the way one might relate unidentical twins. They may look different, but being from the same egg, both individuals evolve from the same genetic structure. Take the cube and the octahedron. The octahedron can be related to the cube with each face of the cube corresponding to a vertex of the octahedron. The octahedron has six vertices and eight faces, while the cube has eight vertices and six faces. What we see is an interchanging of roles. A type of twinning that, in geometrical terms, is called duality. All the platonic solids have duals. You'll have no difficulty identifying the dual of the tetrahedron. It is, in fact, its own dual. One might venture to call it an identical twin of itself. The same cannot be said of the icosahedron and the dodecahedron. Although I can assure you that they are duals of each other. The icosahedron has 20 faces and 12 vertexes. The dodecahedron has 12 faces and 20 vertexes. Oh, would you believe it? Just as I was thinking we might return home via the planet Rombi, we get a fuel warning. Ah, oh, well. Perhaps some other time. Now, on our way back, let's take a final look at our newfound discoveries. Tetrahedron, the four-triangled dual of itself. Cube, a six-squared cornerstone. Octahedron, with its eight triangles. Icosahedron, the twenty-triangled diamond. And the mystical dodecahedron with its 12 five-edged pentagons. Any second now, you will be back in Earth orbit. Fractionally older, but a great deal wiser in matters of solid geometry. Your teacher will be your guide, and the polydron system will be at hand to transport you into a world where all shapes are possible and the only limit is your own imagination. Farewell for now. And may the system be with you.
and then that is easily hinged. So we can go from here and make a two-dimensional triangle. Easily and simply extend that. make a larger two-dimensional triangle and that's quite robust and will stay together quite easily. Then you could fold that up to make a three-dimensional triangle-based pyramid. That's once again 